Welcome to Dudex Lanes in Warren, Rhode Island for the final match of the 2012 RIDBA Tournament Series Finals. This is the final match of the day and you can see Tom Pistacco Jr. is going to be taking on Leo Montero in this match. This is a double elimination format in this tournament and Leo Montero who is coming up against that strike by Tom Pistacco Jr. Leo is undefeated on the day so that that means that Tom will have to win two matches. He'll, he'll have to beat Leo twice in order to win the title. If Leo wins this one match he'll be the champ and Leo matches that strike by Tom Pistacco Jr. so both guys are off to a flying start Here's Tom Pistacco in the second frame. And it's, it's going to be nine. No, it's going to be ten. That's another delayed strike. Now let's take a look at how this happens. He's got a couple of spinners over there. And this one kind of curls around. Comes around a couple of times and then sneaks up to the six pin and knocks it down. So that's a double to begin by Tom Pistacco Jr. And he's going to need his best bowling in this match because Leo Montero has been bowling great all afternoon. Well, yesterday and today. Yesterday in qualifying and today in the finals. Leo has a 9 drop, leaving the 5 pin. Leo was actually giving Tom 3 pins. In, uh, in terms of handicap. So it's pretty close to even up. And Leo converts the five pin. So here's Tom Pistacco in the third frame. Let's see if he can throw a triple strike. Good ball. He's got eight and a spinner eight once again. But he's not going to have three slow ones in a row. This one is going to stay up. He's got the six nine. Two pinner. That gives him 28 through the first frame. And this ball will complete the fill on the strike in the second. And he punches the six pin off the nine. So that's the bowling gods even it out. You catch a couple of breaks, but then you get a tough break. And that'll be a nine by Tom Pistacco Jr. in the third frame. So he's got 56 through the third. See what Leo Montero can do on the spare that he put on the board in the second. And there is a strike on top of that. Some really lively pin action. You'll see this on replay. A lot of sidewall action here. Three pin goes to the sidewall, and both the three and six come across and take out the two and four. So that's a strike in the third for Leo. Tom Pistacco Jr. in the fourth frame over on lane six. He's got just four. He leaves the one, two, four, six, eight, ten. Pretty difficult combination, but makeable. And a nice bid right there. Splits the one, two pocket, kicks the head pin off the sidewall, and gets everything but the six pin. And it'll be a ten box for Tom Pistacco Jr. in the fourth. Leo Montero working on the strike that he had in the third. And he hits light in the 1 2 pocket. And he drops 7, leaving a 6 9 10 triangle over in the corner. A little bit too thin there on the 6 6 10. So the 6 goes in front of the 9. So he'll be open in the fourth. Close match. And that'll be a 9 for Leo. That gives Tom Pistacco, with handicap, a one-pin lead as he comes up in the fifth on lane five. Good ball by Tom. And a nine drop, and once again, a couple of spinners down there. He's going to wait and see if that will take the six pin, but it's not going to do it, so he will have just that six pin for a spare. Yeah, 
Got it. Spare for Tom Pistaco Jr. in the fifth. Let's see if Leo Montero can match that. He has got nine and the seven pin is left. Thought that pin was going to slide over and take the seven pin, but it didn't. So he's going to try and match the spare that Tom had. And he's got it. Spare for Leo Montero in the fifth. He has 78 plus the spare fell for five. And Tom Pistaco right on the head pin dead center. Punches out the one, five, and eight. He's going to have to try and work this out. And just two. Actually, he got three more on the uh, third bay. Okay, got the six, seven, and ten out of there, but he's still got four pins remaining. And he goes through the middle, so that's a just a six in the sixth frame. Tom Pistaco Jr. with 85 through the sixth. Leo Montero working on the spare. Nice one-two pocket hit. Scattering the pins. Everything except the 10 pin goes down. And he's been pretty good on those spares all day. Let's see if he can make another single. And he's all over that 10 pin. So that is going to give Leo Montero a lead of nine pins plus the spare fill through six. Tom Pistaco Jr. misses the head pin to the left, taking out the left side. So he's got, still has four pins up there. That's a difficult spare, four horsemen plus the five and nine. I don't know if they call it the four horsemen and duck pins, but anyway. Um, Tom gets everything but the head pin. That will leave the door open for Leo to add to his lead since he's working on that spare in the sixth coming up on lane five in the seventh frame. And Leo with just five, leaving the one, two, four, eight, and ten. Pretty difficult leave. Certainly not impossible, though. And he hits the head pin a little too full. So he still has the two, four, and ten. And there's a nice shot for a ten by Leo Montero. He's got 112 through the 6th to 94. So it's just a, it's actually a 15 pin lead for Leo with, with the three handicap pins. Tom Pistaco Jr. with an 8 drop, and he's got the 610, and this is a very important spare. He's got to cover this one. And he's got it. Crucial spare in the eighth for Tom Pistaco Jr. Let's see what Leo Montero can do on lane six. And is that going to be a strike? Not quite. You can, uh, it's hard to see, but the seven pin is still standing there. You can just barely see it sort of under the ball return from this angle see if Leo can make yet another corner pin spare. And he's got it. Really very, very consistent bowling by Leo Montero this weekend. So now Tom really needs to have a big last two. He needs a big finish. And that's a great ball right there in the 1-3 pocket. But he has got the 5 and 7, and I don't think that spinner is going to take it down. So he's going to have to make a very difficult shot here, the five and seven. It's pretty much mandatory that, that he mark out at this point. He's gonna try and cut the five into the seven. And a good bid there, he got over to the right side of the five, but not quite thin enough to uh, to kick it into the seven. So 
Tom Pistacco Jr. will be open in the ninth with a nine box. Leo Montero. He has got a strike. Again, some excellent sidewall action there. Is, uh, this is why I usually keep the camera on the tripod handheld. It's a little shaky, but uh, you can see the strike on replay for Leo. And that is pretty much the coup de grace right there. That's going to give him one... What has he got? 122 with a ball. And so... And Tom Pistaka will be open in the 10th unless he can make a spectacular spare. So Leo Montero is going to win this match and he will be the 2012 Rhode Island Duck Pin Bowling Proprietors Association Tournament Series Finals Champion. And there's a great shot by Tom Pistaco for a 10. On the end there he took down the the spread eagle 2 4 or 2 3 4 6 8 uh, 7 10 rather. So that's a 131 game for Tom. Not going to be enough to beat Leo Montero today, though. Leo is... He just did a number on the field all weekend. And he's uh, going to walk away with the title and a, a nice check. Tom Pistaco will take the check for second place, which is pretty good money in this tournament. I think it's 1500 for first and 800 for second, but I'm, I'm not sure. It's certainly in that ballpark. And there's a spare for Leo. So he will finish up with the fill ball. And he drops seven. So Leo Montero with a 169 game. Tom Pistaco Jr. 131. And Leo is the 2012 Tournament Series Finals Champion. Great bowling. And we will see you next fall. <laughs>